Wendy Williams is the self-proclaimed queen of all media, whose career in radio and television spans over four decades. She gained notoriety for her feuds with celebs live on ear and being outspoken. No. It looks like you had a nose job. No. Oh, okay. No, I mean, I just looked at before and after. Honey, before and after. Before and after pictures. But, but <laughs> if I can suggest, because the only thing that I've had done to my face is a little Botox, I would suggest for you some wrestling. The lines stay. <laughs> A wig that doesn't sit off my head three inches. That would be my suggestion. <laughs> I bet you all have wild circus sex, don't you? Oh, my God. Wendy, don't make me meet you outside. Come on now. You're getting too deep. But I can just... It, you could just take a picture, couldn't you? Yeah, you were such... Nasty. You are such passionate people. You're nasty. I, I mean, I'm just saying your posture. I, I'm seeing, you know, you are a big girl from the gate. Okay. So there's butt so thin that you're going to get. No, right. and I'm t saying this in a complimentary way. Stop looking for shade. She's pale and she's fat. Well, <laughs> no, I did not. I did not. I'm going to ask you, but I've never heard Mariah leaving the gym spotting. So Since she is the hot topic lady, she tries to keep her dirty laundry private. But rumors of an alleged history of infidelity and abuse from her husband, Kevin Hunter, has been circling the industry for years. However, further details remained unclear until now. Here's the secret life of Wendy Williams and Kevin Hunter. Wendy Williams and Kevin Hunter got married on November 30th, 1997. She suffered two miscarriages that were both girls, but they eventually welcomed their son, Kevin Jr., in the year 2000, and this would be their only child. Shortly after giving birth, Wendy called Kevin cheating on her. She recalled in a 2013 interview with Vlad TV that she heard him in the next room whispering on the phone late at night, and she went to confront him. You know, I overheard some, some greasy talk from the next room. Well, who was he talking to? So, you know, I tipped and I crapped and, and I heard what I heard, and I was like, wow, okay, so this is how it's going down. It has made our marriage, and I know this is cliche, but it's true, it's made our marriage stronger, um, but... I love him and he loves me and we addressed it head on and it was a mutual decision to reveal this in my um, 2001 autobiography, Wendy's Got the Heat. And uh, I, if you told me when I was 25 years old or 30 years old that, um, that I would stay around for a cheater, I would have been like, use a lie. You know, you are lying. I've got way too much to offer a man to stick around for him cheating on me. You know, I definitely thought I wasn't staying around for some cheating. Um, but I did. And I don't regret it. Around this time, Kevin became her agent and her business partner for Wendy Williams Production. And she was offered her own radio show at WBLS in New York. Her show became a hit with his controversial interviews and covering scandalous topics. But the real controversy came from Kevin Hunter behind the scenes. In 2008, a talent booker on the Wendy Williams Experience radio show filed a sexual harassment lawsuit against Wendy and Kevin, claiming he would hit on her at work after hours, physically abused Wendy in the office and dominated the workplace and his wife. According to The Blast, Nicole Spence sued Inner City Broadcast Corporation, Wendy and her husband, Kevin Hunter, on June 11, 2008 for unlawful employment practices and discriminatory treatment, harassment, and unlawful retaliation against plaintiffs. Spence, who was employed in August 2004 and was promoted to a talent producer in May 2006, claimed her written and verbal complaints regarding the unlawful conduct caused the company and Williams to retaliate against her. She alleged that she was stripped of her material job duties and was physically threatened and nearly attacked by Wendy. She claimed company executives paid for her husband, Kevin, and at times his girlfriend to go with company employees on trips to Puerto Rico, Jamaica, and other places. She claimed he would scream obscenities and that he targeted female employees. She claimed Kevin repeatedly sexually propositioned her at work, telling her over and over that he wanted to fuck her. He called Miss Spence on her cell phone at all hours of the night and told her that he had been dreaming about sleeping with her. Kevin also told Miss Spence that she had a big butt and was going to be a hot bitch and that she needed a real man. She alleged on one occasion that Kevin openly physically abused Wendy 
pinning her against the wall with his hand around her neck, choking her while repeatedly pounding his fist into the wall directly behind of her because she had been smoking cigarettes. Spence claimed Kevin punched Wendy in the face and violently attacked her in a parking lot used by company employees. She also claimed Kevin asked a male employee to help him find someone to kill rival radio personality Tarsha Jones. She alleged Wendy asked the same individual to help her get someone to kill her husband. Spence alleged a male employee confided in her about having to have sex with Wendy out of fear that he would lose his job if he refused to do so. The same employee claimed he was forced to listen to her masturbate over the phone at night. The couple denied her allegations and the $5 million suit was eventually settled out of court. Now, Let's stay there. now you, he's only had one album out, right? Well, that's like his fourth, right? Oh, is yeah, it? fourth album. I'm sorry. Fourth weed plate. <coughs> Something to break cushion on. <laughs> it's hard hate it or love it though. I choose to hate it. Yeah. So me and my homeboy Frosty, DJ Frosty, we went up to New York and um, you know, Wendy was in the party and she was... She was drunk and she saw me and she was excited to see me and she was like, yo, come on my show tomorrow. You can't tell me stuff like that. I don't care how drunk we are, I don't care how high we are, I'm going to remember that, okay? So that next day, that next morning, that, that night, I'm like, yo, Kev, Wendy told me to come on the show tomorrow. Ah, right, yo, bet, that's what's up. Calling Kev all day, like, Kev, like, what's up, can I come to the show? He's like, hold on, boom. Yeah, get to the station. I got to the station and I went up to WBLS and I was there for like 25 minutes and you know, that night, Kev was offering me a position as her co-host. And I didn't even know that she was looking for a co-host. You know, Wendy was smart enough to know, her and Kev was smart enough to know that they wanted to make the transition to television. So I don't want to say they was trying to soften Wendy up a little bit. They was just trying to get her ready for TV. So they wanted to, they wanted her to have a co-host who was from radio, who wasn't a comedian, but was funny. So I guess they thought I was funny and who had a little edge. And I guess they thought I had a little edge. So I'm the person they hired. And you know, Kev told me, Kev was like, look, we can't pay you, but we can give you a place to stay. I just had my little, you know, maybe $1,100 in savings. I just really felt like the opportunity was bigger than any paycheck that I could have got. I mean, yo, I was in Columbia, South Carolina. That's market number 98. And I'm getting the opportunity to be in market number one with one of the greatest radio personalities of all time after I had just got demoted. Before The Breakfast Club and Guy Code, Charlemagne the God was Wendy's co-host for her radio show for some time, but he was fired and no explanation was ever given. However, Charlemagne says it was because of Kevin. He discussed it in his book, Black Privilege, and while promoted it, he stated, he was always extremely aggressive and trying to get more money out of the situation. He'd yell at and often threaten people till he got what he wanted. I can't lie, it worked for him and Wendy, but it wasn't how I wanted to do business. One thing I learned to do from watching her was to treat people who worked for you poorly. Wendy and Kev could be very cruel to people who worked under them. I know why me and her husband fell out, but I don't know what he said to her. Wendy in 2008, combination of reasons um i think that the main one was just pure economics it was a bittersweet moment because i realized that i did have some impact while i was on wendy's show because like news outlets wanted to cover me being fired like like i was like wow i didn't even realize it. like i was in the new york times like oh Charlemagne and god got fired like oh i didn't even know they knew i really existed like that and i didn't mind being fired from wendy's show to be honest with you because i feel like it was a toxic environment so you know god was I think God was removing me from that situation to set me up for, for, for better things. It took me a while to learn that lesson though, but eventually I, I, I severed all ties with them all together, but I ended up doing my own morning show in, in Philadelphia. Wendy denied knowing Charlemagne. In this same interview, she says that if Kev cheated on her again, she wouldn't want to know about it. And I heard you say to uh, oh, our friend Charlemagne, okay. who was down the hall, who used to work with you years ago. He who? said, uh, Charlemagne. Charlemagne the God? Anyway, uh, uh, who? Who? <laughs> So, here's what he said. Oh. We'll, we'll, we'll dig with that later. Oh. We'll deal with that later. I can't identify with people I don't know. Who? Andy Cohen also admitted that Kevin caused an issue between him and Wendy. Are you no, not? I haven't spoken to Wendy in like eight, nine years. Really? Yeah, I don't, I don't speak to her or her husband at all. Really? Yeah, I don't think they're too fond of me. Oh, they're not? No. Was there one thing that happened? Um, yeah, her husband. Oh. Yeah. I think that might be the be the one thing that happened with she and I too. Her husband, right? Yeah. Her husband. Usually, when you see her having a falling out with somebody, the one common denominator is her husband. Once Wendy got her talk show, Kevin served as an executive producer, and his control and ways continued. All scripts had to be approved by him, along with celebrity guests and segment ideas. 
In 2013, an employee detailed Kevin's controlling and abusive behavior. The insider stated, Kevin makes all the decisions and has become more and more controlling as the show has become a success. He insists that all questions be run by him. Kevin had Wendy change her cell phone numbers so she is not accessible to many staffers on the show. He's also hired her a new driver who reports to him. Wendy is smart. No one can understand why she does not tell him to fuck off. He is making everyone's lives miserable and is causing problems on an otherwise great show. The source also states that when Wendy debuted on Broadway in Chicago, Kevin sorted through all the cards and gifts sent to her and only gave her a portion of them. In 2012, a sex tape came out on the internet of a man who was said to be Kevin and another woman, but Wendy denied Kevin being on the tape. In 2014, Wendy made claims about Evelyn Lozada being a gold digger and called her baby for Carl Crawford a cash register. Gave birth to a cash register, I mean. <laughs> Uh, baby. Evelyn responded by saying that Wendy's husband came into her boutique and bought shoes for another woman. Since you want me to open Dolce in LA, maybe your man can come to the store and purchase shoes for another woman like he did at my Miami store. In late 2017, after a year-long investigation of Kevin, Daily Mail broke the story of his alleged 10-year affair with massage therapist Sharina Hudson. The article claims that Kevin is living a double life, splitting time between his home with Wendy and Kevin Jr. and the home that he bought for Sharina nine miles down the road and was frequently photographed out and about with her. Before he bought her the house, she was living in his $700,000 condo. A neighbor in their old condominium told the Daily Mail that they knew the pair well, confirming that they both lived together. He is allegedly over her house about three or four times a week and was photographed regularly at her home. His name is even on the mailbox. They were photographed at the gym and grocery shopping. Sharina has also been wearing what appears to be an engagement ring. He traveled to South Carolina to meet her family but told Wendy he was on a business trip. But Wendy denied those claims like always and stood by her husband. You can believe what you want, but... Okay. I stand by my guy. All is well in Hunterville. Don't believe the hype. And if there was hype, believe me, you. I would let you know. So I guess I'll have to watch to find out what happens. <laughs> Wendy and Kevin then started firing Wendy show employees who he believed were behind the leaked Daily Mail story. The next month, Wendy appeared to be disoriented and fainted while on ear. It was a lot of fun, let's get started. Our first caress. That was not a stunt. I'm overheated in my costume and I did pass out, but you know what? I'm a champ and I'm back. This was a start to her health concerns. After missing a few shows, Wendy returned with a shoulder injury but gave no explanation. An insider told bscott.com that she has been disoriented and blaming it on her complications with Graves' disease. But her staff feels like something else is going on. The source also alleged that Sharina Hudson is pregnant and Wendy and Kevin may be getting a divorce now that little Kevin has gone off to college. The future of her show was uncertain when Wendy canceled shows and kept pushing back the return to the Wendy show. She eventually extended her hiatus indefinitely amid rumors of Sharina's pregnancy. And in true Kevin Hunter fashion, he threatened the Wendy show staff over leaked information and rumors regarding her health and their marriage and provided no update on Wendy's health. To make matters worse, Kevin's own mother, Perlette Hunter, told the National Enquirer that she witnessed her own son, Kevin, abusing Wendy on multiple occasions. She stated, I saw Kevin choking out Wendy. Another time, I witnessed him kicking the shit out of her and pushing her down the stairs. This reminds me of the lawsuit filed by the former employee that said that Wendy suffered horrendous physical abuse at the hands of her husband in front of the staff. The National Enquirer confirmed that Kevin attacked Wendy choking her and kicking her and punching her in the face. Mama June. Because <laughs> I'm about to talk about you and your fat family. We know that Wendy stands by her guy, but does she love him enough to continue to cover up his alleged abusive and controlling ways? Go ahead and hit the subscribe button and let us know your thoughts in the comment section. Make sure you are subscribed to Black Femininity TV to hear about all the craziest stories and pop culture from past to present.